Hi, this is Larry Greenblatt. I've got a lot of questions. One just came up recently, so I want to help you out here on um, why a particular question seven was uh, what it was. And I want to explain it again in a little more detail and hopefully help people uh, understand one of the most important parts of the exam. And often, actually, since I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, one of the most overlooked parts, and I, I say it a lot, business continuity. So, uh, and, and other people, I got a lot of development life cycle. Well, guess what? There's a lot of overlap because uh, the hardest part in any development life cycle is understanding requirements. The part of the development life cycle that might be called requirements if you're doing software or whatever, but in, in business continuity planning, that's called the business impact analysis. That's when you figure out the requirements. And we want to understand particularly the requirements for our data. And recovery point objectives refer to how much data can you afford to lose measured in time. So, uh, you know, a standard thing, I'm, I'm, I'm an older guy, we would do backups and we would say uh, at least, you know, weekly, but uh, a lot of stuff we try to do nightly, you know, and that's how we basically did it. Could we do a full, uh, you know, every night, and we'd, uh, maybe we should only do incrementals or whatever, but we'll do fulls on the week. But either way. If I lost data, I could restore from the previous night. Now, that's good for a lot of things, but I do slides here that I wouldn't want to lose like that. I have in Dropbox. And luckily, if my machine dies, and I did get it a big uh, outage in uh, uh, February, a machine did die. <laughs> and um, uh, the data that I was working on was uh, live mirrored to Dropbox, the, the slides. So I didn't lose anything. That's pretty cool because I couldn't afford to. I wouldn't want to lose a day's worth of data. I do a lot of music. And can you imagine losing like eight hours worth of recording? So when you set your recovery point objectives, it's related to data classification. You know, we always think of data classification as going high, medium, and low, say confidentiality, top secret. Um, but it's not just confidentiality. It's integrity and availability. And availability on my classification, sometimes called uh, criticality, if I say uh, high criticality, it probably has to be backed up, you know, maybe even transactional base, no more than maybe five minutes. I can't exactly, I don't have the, the, the physical throughput to get to Dropbox in, in, a, in a exactly the same time. So there might be a five minute delay, or so depending on the size of the file. My video files can take an hour. So I would have an hour. I could, you know, that would, I have to work with reality. All right. So that would be high criticality. I can't lose more than an hour. If some things are medium criticality, the RPO could be 24 hours. And then if it's like archival data, you know, historical records, and that could be weeks or longer, right? That might be one example of those classifications. So the question uh, in question, I have another video on this, so I don't have to go over it, but the idea is that the critical systems are migrated to a hot site after a disaster. So there was a disaster. The backup operator from the recovery team receives a call from a user complaining that the data that was restored is too old. So this would be, you know, me, like I, I put money in the bank and, and uh, at 12 o'clock, the bank burnt down at one o'clock and I called up and I said, hey, the, the, my money's not in the bank. And they said, well, we're restoring. We're going to put it in for last night's backup. And I go, no, it's going to be too old. I need my money for that. I put it today. The operator checks the tape that was used through the restore and confirms it was the most recent backup. And the tape was created the night before. No, that's, that's not going to work. That does not meet the requirements. Who architected that solution? This sounds like, well, we know the hardest part in the development life cycle is the requirements. So the BIA was, something happened in the BIA and a requirement was missed. It sounds like the requirement was missed was the recovery point objective. It's like, dude, didn't you catch the part that I said the data can't be more than an hour old? Oh, no, we wrote down here that uh, nightly backups would meet the requirement. No, no, nightly backups don't meet that requirement. Our recovery point objectives are very short. So the answer here is one of your major criticality metrics that you look for in a BIA. We don't, most people think of when they do a BIA, they think, oh, I can afford to be down for whatever, four hours. That's my MTD. That's not the only thing you're thinking about. This is an information security. How old can the data be? So just make sure we got all that. So I've got a couple slides here I just want to go over 
make sure that sinks in. Like probably uh, uh, the STLC might be the number one thing this uh, in 21, uh, 2020 and 2019. But over the 20 years, it's been a lot, a lot of business continuity uh, questions. All right. So when you do requirements, you do a BIA and you, you know, you're for, for each process area, you, you try to come up with information security and the goals, we know confidentiality, integrity, availability, but confidentiality of records, probably not as important right? It's much more important that we get the data up and going. I mean, we've got to protect confidentiality. You can't lose medical records or violate HIPAA or whatever, you know, but that's not our primary focus. Our primary focus is getting it up. Availability. You know, like during COVID, yes, we want um, uh, masks that work really well. I don't know the masks have to have a secret formula to them or whatever. Maybe they do. They're patented, but that's not my major concern, right? So they're available. So when we do our, 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 uh, BIA and you do that, that requirements that those criticality requirements, you look at all generally in time, not exactly, but first of all, it's like if I'm driving a car and I say, I, I it normally takes me three hours to get there. I'm going to give myself an extra hour. So my, I can afford to be off the road for an hour. And that's, that's my MTD. That's the process area in general. But if you get a flat, it takes a couple minutes to pull over the side of the road, you know what I mean? Might, might, especially a place where you can get on a tire. If you're the guy that's going to put on that tire or put in the fix a flat, yeah, uh, you got to figure out, well, it might take me 15 minutes to find a safe spot. So the time for the recovery team to put on a tire, probably 45 minutes. Those two metrics are related to each other. These are very uh, close, you know, and again, the, this is how long can I afford to be down? And if I could only afford to be down, it took me a while to get everybody out of the building and account for this. Okay. Um, unrelated to that is service supply levels. And I hear probably the most overlooked thing in a real way, you know, a lot of people just look at service levels. You got to be able to print 20 pages per minute. That's not going to work real well without paper. Uh, I like to always call minimum operating requirements, but uh, ISO, the Federation, those be well in 22. It's not a it's not a techie uh, thing. We don't really need it for our class if you're worried about. But 22301 is an ISO standard on business continuity, and that's it. They use it for uh, uh, you know. Uh, auditable standard. So uh, they use the term minimum business continuity objectives, and this this defines our service level of supplies. I still like to type in three characters instead of four. But, uh, but this question was not about those. This question was how much data loss, and they lost more than, an, you know, up to 24 hours, and that was not enough. So that's why that's the answer. Again, the uh, RPO, is the amount of data loss tolerable to a particular process area. Maybe it's the, you know, the HR records in this particular server, right? Uh, uh, they can never be more than X amount of, and when we say how much data loss, we measure that in time. We don't say, I could afford to lose it two terabytes. No, <laughs> no, I don't measure it that way. We'll measure, I can afford to lose five, the last five minutes. I can afford to lose an hour. You know, five minutes hard to beat that recovery time objective, but hour, you know, for a lot of stuff, you get a fast enough pipe, man. Clouds are awesome. All right. I hope that cleared everything up. Uh, I, I know um, it's besides just my video here that I had from 2008, I get a lot of things on it anyway in my class. I talk a lot. Um, oh, by the way, you know, I got to do a little ad. So I teach a few courses. You could do it pre-recorded, live online, or uh, I do half-day one-on-one sessions. Uh, and uh, I didn't create a slide for it, but um, if uh, you're broke and, and uh, you want to sit one of my live online slides and, 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 and you could, you know, agree to try to pay me within a year, during COVID uh, for the next year or so, I'm doing deferred payments. All right. Uh, God bless everybody. Live long and prosper. I hope this helps.